Okay, so uh, for this video, we're just going to have be concentrating on this bipartite maximum matching algorithm. And rather than just explain to you a load of sort of theory, it's best to sort of just do an example and then sort of fill in the gaps from there, uh, which is what I find. So we're just going to start off by answering a typical um, D1 decision maths question so here we are so we have five applicants labeled one two three four five um, and they are only qualified for certain jobs um, represented as letters okay and so person one he can only do C and job C and D person two is qualified to do B D and E and so on and so forth so the first question is show this matching on a bipartite graph so we should be somewhat familiar with a bipartite graph but uh, just to remind us all we're just talking about these nodes on do so we'll put the uh, applicants on one side one two three four five and then the the jobs that they can do on the other side, so A, B, C, D, and A, and so that's so just a case of uh, matching what each person can do. So um, person one, he can do C and D. So we just have to join the lines up. That wasn't very good, but I do. You can see what I'm trying to achieve here. So plus one, uh, person two, you can do B, D, and A. This is just I'm just reading this off a question. So um, if you wonder how I'm getting these matches, so um, person two, B, D, E. So B, D, and B. Um, person three, A, C, E. A. A. Uh, person four, A C. And finally, applicant five. He can do jobs. He's qualified to do jobs uh, A and D. So that is um, showing this match on the bipartite graph. Okay. So um, what we're going to do? We're just going to leave it there and do the there's um, another two, three parts to this question. So we're going to do the next parts in the following video. So see you there.